we're going to show you how to install one at the front mech. I can't find it. Inside this box, we've got a chain catcher. In this video, we're going to show you how to install one next to your front mech. Now, these are reasonably common and have become so over the last few years. And they're basically designed to stop your chain from dropping off the inner chain ring down here onto the bottom bracket. In terms of the tools that you need for the job, well, most of the time you're just going to need a five millimeter Allen key to undo the bolt which attaches the front mech to the frame, in this case, a brazon. But on this particular frame, I can't access that without first taking the bottle cage off. So I'm gonna have to use a four millimeter Allen key to undo that. And whilst I'm doing that, it might be worth explaining that it is slightly more complicated and slightly more expensive if you've got a band on mech, which is one where the mech wraps around the frame and bolts onto it, as opposed to a braze on, which is what we've got here. Because if you've got a band on front mech, you're going to need to change it for a braze on, and you're also gonna to need to get an adapter, a wrap around with effectively a braze on bit here to then put that new mech onto. Put it onto the small ring and have a look and note how close the front mech is, the cage here, to the chain ring teeth themselves. This is actually really, really close, slightly closer than perhaps recommended, which is normally one to two mill millimeters. This one's almost scraping the top, so it might be a case that we need to put it slightly higher up when we put it back on and readjust the gears. But once you've taken a look at roughly where yours is, make a note of that mentally or even take a picture. You can then undo the front mech here. Okay, we're now ready to do the initial installation of this piece. We can discard this kind of tab washer that we had on before, as that's going to be effectively replaced by the chain catcher itself. Some manufacturers of the chain catchers will give you a longer bolt, but since the depth of this one and the wash that we've taken off are very similar, I'm actually just going to use the same one. Things to watch out for now. Basically, when you look at the chain catcher down, it should be pretty much as close to the chain as possible when the chain is in the biggest sprocket at the back. So, I'm just gonna move it up on the cassette because of course that means that the chain is as far in towards the wheel as possible and as close as it's going to get. It doesn't make too much difference where the chain catcher is, to be fair, but it just means that you can make sure that when you're pedaling, it's very close, but you can't hear the sound of it scraping against the pedal catcher. Chain catcher, should I say. That's that part done. It's roughly in the right position, but we've also got to do the combination, of course, with the front mech. Once it's the right height, you then want to look over and make sure that the outer cage is in line with the chain ring, parallel. And then double check again that your chain catcher is still close to the chain ring and the chain but not quite touching. Bit of trial and error, but once you think you're pretty much there, give it all a good tighten up, trying to make sure that nothing moves drastically as you're doing that. And then once you've got it all tightened up again, it's pretty much just a case of testing it. So give it another pedal backwards and forwards. So I've got my chain catcher just very slightly too close. You can hear it, the chain as it's going round, just catching on it slightly. So a little bit of a loosen up. There we go. As you can hear, there's no rubbing of the chain now against the catcher. Quick look at the front mech. Okay, I think that's pretty much where it needs to be. The front mech is still properly indexed, going up and down perfectly. The chain catch is really nice and close to the inner chain ring and the chain to prevent it dropping off. Everything's working smoothly. Now, if you have found that your front mech has come out of index slightly or it needed adjusting anyway, we've got a video to show you how to do that and you can get that by clicking up there. If on the other hand, you need to replace your chain rings, then you can do that by clicking on the video down there. And finally, if you haven't already subscribed to GCN, you can do so for free by clicking on me.